Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. I just wanted to stop and thank you for clicking on this video for all the support I'm getting on my live readings, private readings as well. And for all the new subscribers, we have gotten many new subscribers. So welcome to the channel and thank you for choosing to subscribe and thank you for all my other subscribers that were here already. I appreciate all the support. If you wanted to get a private reading with me, any of my decks, my crystals, all the links will be below. I have a Patreon account, I have membership out as well. There are many ways for you to connect with me, so I'll leave all the links below for you guys that are interested. Today we have a reading all about uh, the, the feelings of this person, the person in your mind there, the last time they saw you versus right now. So maybe you guys are in no communication anymore, or, you know, maybe it's on and off, but you want to see from the last time to right now, whether you see each other or not, being able to understand how they are feeling here, tapping into their 5D here to get some messages too. I want to choose the charms for more information. So I have many decks to go through. I have some decks I have separated and I'm going to be shuffling. So this is going to be a longer reading and I appreciate your support here. So you have these three options. Group one, it's with the moonstone. Moonstone, if you see, moonstone has some kind of a sheen. If it's calling attention, it's for you. Group two, it's with the Amazonite. All heart shapes. So if this one is resonating with you, it's for you. And group three with the pink calcite. So if this calling your attention, it's for you. Like I always say, go with your gut feeling, your intuition, your first choice is most likely the right one. Especially in videos like this that I'll be using the charms, there will be zodiac signs, initials. There are many ways for you to really connect with your person here. So if it's not resonating on pile, check the other one or watch the full video. There is nothing wrong about that to see which one will resonate the most. But many times your intuition it's most likely the right one. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I always set my intentions that your spirit guides will help you to take only what is resonating. If you see the colors changing, it's because it's sunny and then the sun is going away. I live in Ireland, we have four seasons in one day. So if you see the color changes on my background, it's because it's sunny, not sunny, rainy. That's the beauty here. But again, all my links will be below if you want to connect with me. Again, group one, the moonstone. Two, Amazonite. Three, calcite. Timestamp will always be on the first comment on the description below as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you chose the beautiful moonstone, we leave here for you. There will be many cards. I'm going to save some of those cards for the end, for how they're feeling now. And how they're feeling the last time they saw you. We have poker face. Okay, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hands and gambling. Okay. We have the passion, insane chemistry, it sparks, and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. We also have love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. We also have overwhelmed, options, and divine timing. Interesting here with this card just straight away. So I do see this energy of someone really interested in you, this fire, this passion. So we tap into the last time first, but also this poker face. Maybe they had this insane chemistry, the fire, the sparks. They were there, but they were holding back with the poker face here. Maybe afraid of taking a chance or going deeper. So. Maybe this relationship stayed only on the fire passion or just on the flirting, didn't go deeper, whatever was the next step for this connection or 
just flirting and going to the next step of being together already being together but going to the next step of being more serious i feel like you guys stopped to taking that leap of faith and i feel like it's out of some fears i felt like there was definitely interest here maybe you guys had a lot of this expressing love messages of love thinking of you infor but informing you i feel like they held back maybe on reaching out and informing you i feel like they wanted to make that call and tell you how they feel but i feel like at the last time they saw you they felt all that chemistry and maybe you guys were together all this burning desire but i feel like they felt to express themselves maybe the best way maybe they did express themselves a bit but not everything because of the poker face holding back here afraid of gambling taking that risk and the leap of faith so they were not showing everything as much as they were feeling so i feel like the feelings were there even the fire the passion maybe they stop only on the fire passion depending on how far this connection will, will have been going but overwhelmed as well and also overwhelmed with their feelings overwhelmed also about thinking about the options maybe from both sides thinking about you have other options or i have other options what if it's you what if it's not you and afraid of taking that risk but thinking here divine timing maybe they felt like it wasn't the right time or it wasn't the right opportunity yet or hoping for the future something that we'll be able to connect later on so i feel like this energy of timing maybe you didn't have enough time and um maybe there was you know uh rushed here or you had to go or maybe you guys live far from each other you didn't have enough time if you see here, it's sunny raining sunny raining so if it's sunny here on the cards but i do feel like time was at the essence here for you guys maybe not enough time or just not enough time to jump in and have the courage so i feel like something holding back this i wanted to use another kind here i will use the tarot but i wanted to see more information here so they felt the feelings for you for sure but i felt like definitely fire passion but also the energy of holding back overwhelmed thinking about the options the time we have twin flames interesting in young zen balance union duality and coupling completing each other so i feel like many of you guys could be twin flame soulmates depending on how you believe as well but this energy the twin flame specifically it's like feeling like you connect you have that click you have that insane chemistry but it's a push and pull energy many times with the twin flame energies whether you feel like a twin flame soulmate or just the connection is very strong here but this push and pull because Many times they choose the lesson. What's the lesson here? So maybe not always trusting. Healing heart as well. Healing from heartbreaks, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. This could be their issue as well. They could have been in need to take time here for healing from other connections, maybe both of you, or even healing from what happened between you guys. And I feel like there could be some toxic situations affecting you guys as well and maybe the courage to take the leap of faith when they were already hurt could have been difficult we also have a hand of cards look at that taking a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand and gambling look at that poker face again i want to choose this deck because it had some similar messages to this one and once again it's confirming so double confirmation on i feel like afraid of taking the risk or thinking can i take the chance or not my options you or not being very strategic thinking about everything and the options the options double confirmation on many things and this gambling and not showing the hand not showing exactly how they are feeling so afraid to take a risk and also the heartbroken here you see and deeply hurt, sad, 
separation, breakup, feelings lost, uh, grieving, mourning. So I do feel like when you guys walk away from each other, whether you're still in communication or not, you're not seeing each other. And so I feel like this energy of feeling and this heartbreak, they didn't want to let you go, but they also didn't show much. So that's how it feels like it, it was their feelings at the time, holding back, not showing. And also, you do have healthy choices. So it could be what they're trying to do now. And making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. And this could be what they are doing right now. And that's why I feel like they could have been able to evaluate your relationship, where you are, where you ended up. So I feel like thinking about them. And we will see about how they're feeling now. But this is us tapping into how they're feeling the last time they saw you. So the feelings, the passion, but also overwhelmed with that and afraid of taking the risk. Just holding back. And again, because it could be heartbreaks, it could be healing the heart from past connections, difficult times, not having the courage to take the risk. And also, I feel like they felt heartbroken about not telling you, not opening up. And again, sad, feeling a bit lost, grieving, but thinking I needed to make healthier choices. So it was a chance to learn and evolve with these as well. Let's tap into some tarot cards. I'm going to get messages too. Okay. So, Five of Pentacles, King of Swords, Star, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups, okay, and the Eight of Swords. Again, we're tapping into how they were feeling, okay? We're going to tap with another deck here on how they are feeling right now. This is very interesting because the King of Swords, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the star here for Aquarius. We have the Water Signs here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scrap, Pisces. I feel like this energy of the King of Swords, many times they wanted to do something. They wanted to be honest, but they are very strategic. And you got one that says being strategic here about how they can open up. It's a lot of mind over their emotions. And this inner, our conflict here. Maybe you guys had some misunderstanding, fights. And um, this could be, again, connected all with the last time, with all these emotions of the last time. But they were being mind of emotions and they didn't show you everything. Maybe they had the hope, but they couldn't tap into their feelings. And I feel like maybe you were, maybe you're more vulnerable and you open up to them. But the Six of Cups here with this nostalgia stuck in the past as well. I remember the past for some of them that were really hurt or were in difficult karmic connections. Or even stuck on third party situations. And I feel like, yes, feeling overwhelmed. But right now I feel like this energy of missing you too. I feel like again we tap into the past. Felt stuck. These are soulmate energies. So we got twin flames, soulmate energies, and this energy of the past as well. But the eight of swords, self-imposed limitations, is stuck, especially on communicating, telling you how they really feel, being able to be honest with you. So I feel like they really got stuck on being able to express how they were really feeling. And maybe you were better at that. And that they couldn't match you, they couldn't really trust 100%. So holding back. I wanted to get some messages before tapping into the energy of how they're feeling right now. Let me see here. This deck has so many long messages. But very interesting here, no doubt connecting with the previous card as being stuck, 
not being able to trust here enough to open up. Self-imposed limitations, eight of swords, thinking worst case scenarios instead of realizing it's not that difficult. We have new beginnings. I have realized what was missing in my life and that is you. This new love has given me a fresh perspective and changed who I am. There is no going back, only forward. When I meet you, uh, after that, when I met you, after that, I never looked back. I wanted to have a fresh new start with you. Look at the ones that I said that they still have hope here. And this energy of, I have not given up here. I feel like there's a lot of realizations with this person. We can see how they're feeling now. Maybe hopeful for this new start here, fresh start with some of you. Let's see here what they want to tell you now. We see the passion, look at that. And the heat is rising between us. This is the intensity of my desire for you. I want you. I want your body, mind, and soul. We will be one. It will be unlike anything we have experienced before. I have a lot of passion for you. You are such a passionate and magnetic queen. I feel drawn to you. Wow, look at that. And we got that magnetic attraction before as well so there's no doubt there's a lot of fire passion attraction they're finding you beautiful physically mind body soul and i feel like they is still very drawn to you i'm not sure if you're just not communicating too much right now or not communicating at all or uh, if there's this distance here but they're hopeful for this new beginning because they can't Deny, I feel like this connection. What else do I want to say to you? They're also saying changing. I am working hard to change, to face up to all that I have been avoiding for so long. I know I needed to do more, but I feel so exhausted and tired. Your love is inspiring me to make the necessary changes in my life. And that's what I was saying about someone that knows that they would need to change, that they need to take the risk to trust their feelings. And it could be difficult to, maybe for them it's hard to really trust, but they know something has to change. You have inspired them to change as well. What else I want to say? Opening up. And the message, I know it's small in this deck. I'm getting ready to say what's in my heart. I know that this is love. This a true, unconditional and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I'm trying to open up. But it's hard for me to put my feelings for you into words. But I know I have to do this and you need to hear them. Yeah, that's again the energy of they know they need to open up. It's hard for them. And we got that on the previous cards. Hard for them to open up. They don't know how. They don't know how to trust. They can, could have gone through hard times. So trusting to open up. Hoping to open up. And also we have let go of fears. I have no fear of making mistakes. Nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you. There are no mistakes on this journey, only soul lessons. Everything happens for a reason. It's safe to be vulnerable with me. And this could be because you have your own fears too when it comes to this connection. Also because they know they have their fears, but they need to let go of fears. They know that there's no mistakes when it comes to this connection. Even if you have not been together yet or it has this on and off, this push and pull, is because they could be stepping into their power. Again, of course, it depends what you wanted to not only what they want but i do feel like again it's all connected with 
this transformation process. So we tap into where they were, this transformation process with the messages. And I want you to get some messages here of where they are right now. And also their feelings when they saw you versus now, what they're feeling right now. So it happens to a lot of fears, insecurities. We do have the hair front and the queen of wands. You see, you got the queen of wands again. So double confirmation on. I feel like your feelings that are there or your intuition that is guiding you on the right direction. I feel like they wanted to tap into the same energy of you because we're tapping into how are they feeling now with who have Hierophant, which is Taurus energies. They're definitely thinking about the commitment. Sagittarius with Temperance. Six of Wands. Okay. How are they feeling now? Ace of Swords. How are they feeling now? Three of Cups. I feel like this energy of taking it slow, taking their time, lessons. They're trying to really trust their intuition, being guided. We got double confirmation on the Queen of Cups because I feel like they wanted to step into that um, divine feminine side that we all have masculine and feminine but they needed to trust your feelings as well it is a celebration of the battle so i feel like they know there's still battles it's not the easiest road a road of recovery healing trusting but i feel like they they hope that you wait for them i feel like there is a hope here that they will be able to resolve their lives and again, Taurus, Sagittarius, but this energy of trusting for the commitment, it could be they're working on their commitment to trust here for this chance. They're asking for patience and temperance is also the healing. If you're not communicating of you are, but they have not been able to completely be open with you. The Ace of Swords is someone that really wants to talk to you, have clarity help you to have clarity of where they are. They could be waiting for a specific time. The Three of Cups is this energy of approaching friendly, being friend, maybe asking friends, family for advice, or someone that you guys have friends in common. Could be also waiting for a party, a gathering to talk to you. And they could be friendly, you know, trying to not push too much. There also could be third party energies they need to deal with, let go, resolve. And there's still fears here. There's still this energy of these battles. But if I take one step at a time, it's low. If I don't rush, I'll be able to trust. So I feel like it's definitely a different approach right now. Not because they have resolved everything, but I feel like because they can see things more clearly. And I feel like there's still a road of recovery. It's not there yet. There's still many battles. But I feel like they're hopeful to have a celebration after the battles. That you will wait for them. Maybe you will not. It depends on what you want. Of course, you have your free will. But they could be still hopeful that even if it takes time, you will be there. And maybe that's an illusion on their side of that you will wait all the time. But again, their hope. And again, the cards I want to choose for the end of how they're feeling now. They still, this is the fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So they really realize that this is a test. The fear, the way they were feeling, the, all the intuition that they were not trusting. Is this for testing then? Can you, re, can you... Test your resolve to stay in the energy of love, in the energy of intuition, love, trusting the feelings. So they realize they're still dealing with the fear, but there's a lot of realization. Also, the energy of surrender, the fear of intimacy. So fear and fear. 
and you are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from being, from opening your heart. And I feel like this energy definitely from your person, from you too. Maybe you still have this fear of intimacy holding back. But I feel like they realize they have fear of intimacy, fear of maybe commitment. And I feel like they're realizing that they're getting, I feel like the courage to step into feeling more ready. They identify the, where the problem is coming from, no doubt. Also, the surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. If they are quiet right now, if they are not talking to you, or if you are communicating, but they still very held back, you know this person is going through their own healing. So it's like the need for them to trust here how they feel and go into the silence for healing. They're really introspective and I feel like you are on their mind a lot, but they are thinking here, what do I do? Commitment and reconciliation. Yeah, I feel like that's their hope here. We do have the Hierophant for that. And of course, it's up to you. Again, with the Tree of Cups, it could be someone that's hoping to reconcile, even if it's through friendship, even if it's just approaching you. Even if it's there is something that they need, they should just be careful it's slowly. But I do feel like they hope, you see here, new beginnings, letting go fear. Fear is a word that came a lot here in many different cards. So no doubt fear of being open, tell you about their feelings. The feelings were there in the past, but they could not face them. They push away. Right now, I feel like it's still a road of recovery. But I feel like they still have hope that they will be reconnecting with you. And they will be able to really release the fears of commitment, intimacy. And I feel like right now they're still in this healing. But I feel like more hopeful. And of course, wait, hoping that you will wait. But not sure if you will wait. Maybe they really don't know. And of course, it's up to you. But it's different here from where they were and where they are now. I wanted to add some charms here. Remember, just for some zodiac signs initials. I know we got some zodiac signs here already. Just anything else that connects with you. We got Gemini and um, Virgo. So, and we got um, Taurus. We got uh, the other cards here as well. I gave you before Sagittarius. Let's see here. We need to know. We have numbers too that could be important for you guys. Letters. So it could be initials, their initials, your initials, nicknames. So let me leave this outside because I know I don't know where my other the other plate that I use for your charms is I, I know where it is but I can't reach I need help to get them so you bear with me with this so we have M E well let me take more letters I don't have many letters Just trying to get some letters. I'll leave it here for you outside. So O E K H A E and E. Maybe you are connecting like a nickname or could be initials, your initials, their initials. Yeah, and we have 11, 
7, 18, 12, 6, 5, 14. Birthdays, when you met, when you will meet again. Maybe when there's that party, you know you're going to be meeting again or that travel. Okay. Many different paths, okay? So it could be, you see at the crossroads energy. It's like, okay, can we really take a chance or not? Gentle show, hello. This is someone that's hoping to send you a message. Yeah, it's a lot of introspection. There's a lot of hope as well that if they take it slow, there is a chance. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And this is someone, I see the moon energy, Pisces energy. And I feel like there's a lot of healing with that, but also introspection, trusting intuition. I have the pentacle, the sun. So I feel like there's a lot of hope that you can be happy to get this not too late. Even if they have to go through the healing road now. I really see he was on Gemini. A lot of clarity right now compared to the last time they saw you. A lot of healing. The road is not uh, ended, you know, but it's like coming to that crossroads. Okay, what do you do now? Or how do I not miss this opportunity? Some of them really hoping for this reconciliation, for commitment, but some of them not sure about you. There's still a lot of fears. Holding back, introspection. But hoping that they are on the right path, that they are making decisions that will help for your connection, your future, or at least them finding themselves and having the courage. There's a lot of commitment energies here too. Not just what they want, but also what they fear. Even if they want something, they wanted to be ready for it. But I feel like it's a road of recovery compared to the last time they are facing the fears. Before they were in the fears energy, they couldn't act. And right now, I feel like they're seeing what it needs to be seen. Facing the fears and going through the healing road. But no doubt, you are on their mind. They don't know if you're going to wait. But they are hopeful. That's what I have here for your group one. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi group 2, if you chose the Amazonite crystal, how do they feel the last time, how did they feel the last time they saw you versus now? I'm going to leave some cards for the next because these cards here representing how they're feeling now and this, uh, how they were feeling the last time, they're going to get loads of clarifications charms as well we have heartbroken okay deeply hurt and sad feeling lost grieving and despair and breakup so maybe it was the breakup for you guys so mate so connection partnership so contract life partner and also separation sadness bitterness missing you thinking about you uncertain future okay also broken adversity and mending all right so no doubt the last time could have been difficult for you guys maybe difficult conversations maybe fights making up you know mending trying to mend something so i feel like a lot of feelings and different energies so i feel like the last time they saw you they were heartbroken and maybe they they broke a heart maybe they know they hurt you and it could be how you're feeling too but is this soulmate energy so there's definitely a reason to have met this person and the soul contract here there's a reason for this connection maybe you feel very intense the connection soulmate energies but also this 
energy of lessons over and over, not the easiest, difficult, having to learn your lesson. There's a soul contract. There's a reason to have met this person, to have lived through whatever you guys are living and many of you guys in separation now. So they were feeling the separation there. Maybe the last conversation you guys had was the breakup, was the separation. And they were sad. It was this bitterness as well, maybe not saying the nicest things. Even though they could be missing you right now, even back then, the moment they you guys went away, you missing you, thinking about you non-stop, but uncertain future, not knowing here for sure. We will be able to mend this and be together. Deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost the last time, grieving, despair. It was the breakup, breakup the last time, at least the separation, knowing that you couldn't be together. Even if you guys didn't go too far, maybe you, were, you guys were not together, but you had the chance in the last time. It was that conversation that you guys decided to go your separate ways and you decide to not take a chance or you miss that opportunity. I know whether it was the breakup or was the difficult conversation that you decided to go your separate ways. I feel like group two, the last conversation was hard for both of you. You know, they felt broken. They felt like the adversities as well. Maybe internal, external battles, other situations affecting you guys. Family, gossip, third party energies. So other things. So very difficult the last time. Even if I'm not sure if they were able to tell you or show you everything. But it has been difficult. And I feel like for both sides. So really a lot of healing needed here. But let's get more information. Let me not get the tarot cards yet. I want to get those cards here. I'm going to add messages. So we're still tapping into the last time. So it could have been, of course, difficult for you too. The last time was not easy. I got these cards here because they have similar messages to this. I want to see if there's any double confirmation. Here on the ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Maybe it was one night stand. Maybe it was just difficult to make a decision to be together because it could be unconventional. Maybe it's not, um, maybe it's third party energies. Maybe it's unconventional for some reason. Maybe you guys live far from each other or there's something that is different from other connections that is hard. It was hard to make a decision. And many options, maybe you have other options. They had other options or just thinking. Is it really you? Why is it so difficult? So they be stringing along and like trying to make up their mind and decide. And uh, we also have not enough. See, frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Yeah, no doubt. So I feel like they were holding themselves back. Not feeling enough, not feeling ready for you. Maybe you felt more ready than they were and they didn't feel like the confidence. You see the lack of confidence. So I feel like that was the self-sabotage in this connection. As much as they were hurt, they were also sabotaging, not seeing the positive one, the reasons to fight for the connection, fear, ego, jealousy as well, thinking about your options. Where would you go? Other things that you'd be doing with your life. Also, the love there, see, Uncon unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. A lot of attraction, love, but the self-love maybe was needed too. So no doubt love there, feelings, but maybe not knowing what to do with that or trust. What else? We have a heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Maybe it felt like it was perfect, like this is the one, this is what I'm waiting for. That's why the heartbreak is even harder, whether you were together and broke up or you never took that chance, but you knew the opportunity was there. 
I feel like it was a welcoming love. It was like, it felt like you guys were feeding each other. It was perfect. But then the fear, and I feel like external situations affecting as well. Something here, there's a reason for this. Interesting with the clock. Okay. We have the, the clock here, which is needed time, takes time, in time, cycles, time for heal and progress. And it's interesting time with uh, all of these things that felt like good, too good to be true. But timing was an issue here. Maybe you guys didn't have enough time. Maybe you had to go away or they had to go away if you guys don't live in the same place. Or if there was just not enough time to really trust, to be together. Or you guys didn't stay, you, you start a relationship that was short-lived as well maybe it was too good to be true and there was a lot of fear that didn't allow things to move forward and i feel like it's just this fear of taking the chance there was not enough time to trust each other and then there was a missed opportunity as well that's how it feels whether you guys were together and broke up or because you you never even took that chance if you're just crushing crush energies but didn't take the chance i feel like timing was a reason here for you guys let's see here we're still tapping on how they were feeling at the time when was the last time they saw you and then we'll see verses now okay hang it one i feel like Hanging one is this energy of patience, hanging in there, but it's slow at move, you know, like a bit stuck as well. Just trying to see things from each other's perspective, but not really taking action so much. Yeah, two of swords. Stuck in the indecisions. So thinking this is the opportunity, this is the chance, but cannot make up their mind. So some indecisions here help them back. Ace of Swords, I feel like you guys had the conversations, different times, different conversations. And it could be a lot of mind of the emotions as well. It's like, I need more clarity. I need to talk to you. I want to be with you, but I'm thinking too much. Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of hard work with the Eight of Pentacles. And it could be the case for them thinking, oh, this is too hard or why there's so many obstacles or interesting with this unconventional um that was the unconventional love here um where was that somewhere frustrated i saw one that was unconventional i think but yeah unconventional <laughs> because options thinking about the options cannot make a decision and this is the indecisions of the two of swords and the justice stuck in that energy. Maybe it was just one night stand or one chance or just not taking too far or even being together. Maybe it was your relationship for some time. But then thinking about all the options. But I feel like it was difficult for some reason. It's not a straightforward relationship, at least how they were feeling. Like, I wish it was easier. It's not easy. There's so many obstacles or... We are far from each other, or the people against us, or the third party energies, uh, it's too much fear. I feel like it felt too good to be true, it felt like perfect. And then the fear to take a chance. Okay, so I'll take just the top one, there's too many here, which is the Hermit, and we also got the Page of Wands. This energy, her, Hermit, is the Virgo. And no doubt, fire, passion, attraction with the Page of Wands. But also immaturities, insecurities, not having the courage to really, really take a chance when they had one. And it could have been really missed opportunities here when the chance came. So in their mind, I feel like they had the too many indecisions. They definitely felt the connection, the soulmate energy, the too good to be true as well. They felt like this is this is perfect. This is 
what I've been waiting for. And this can be scary. It can be exactly what someone wants. And that is it. That is what pushes them away too. And maybe immaturities, insecurities, feeling like you are ready and they were not. Maybe there's age difference, distance. There's something. There's a specific situation or a few different things that makes it difficult. Because the Eight of Pentacles, you have to work things out together. There is work to be done and you have to put the effort for the connection to work. And maybe someone afraid of that feel like it's difficult. I'm going to tap into some messages here, what they want to say to you. And then we, we move into what they are feeling now. Because even the messages we tap into their feelings in general. Not just then. But again, we're going to get other cards here. I have uh, Follow Your Bliss. I feel good when I know you are happy. Do something that you enjoy today. Feeling of joy and hope will bring us closer on our journey and will put you at ease. I feel like they care about you. You see this energy of follow your bliss, hoping that you are having fun, doing fun things, having joy, happiness in your life right now. Even if you guys are not together, not seeing each other. So I feel like they care that you are... Um, making happy decisions, choices that are bringing you happiness. So I feel like they hope that this could maybe align your path one day or even if you just meet and make sure that you're happy. You see, hold me. Things are not right in my world and I am longing for your embrace today. Please send me your love so that I know everything will be okay. So they're really missing you, your person, hoping that you could hold them, hug them, be there for them. But I feel like you could send them distant love, positive energies, wherever you are. Maybe some of you guys just wanted to know how they feel, but you know you don't want to be together as well, or you don't trust them. So, but I feel like they miss you and they feel like, no doubt, you are on their mind. They're hoping you're doing something fun, good for you. This energy of longing and missing. We also have one thing. I can't help wanting you sexually. Your energy excites me and alerts me. I want your touch and I am craving for you. Your body turns me on. I just want you right now. Please come Come home, baby. Wow. You can see here. No doubt the fire, the passion. And even the page of ones is this fire, this new energy. There's, you definitely, I feel like, are very attracted to them. They still want you. They still find you very beautiful. They still want you sexually. And this this energy here that I feel like pu pulls them towards your energy I feel like they want what they want, but they want you to go. You see here, my guides are showing me again. I just want you right now, please come home. So they, whether it's home or just go back to them, I feel like they want you to go back, you to maybe send them a sign. It's like, I feel like the lack of action from their side is still there. It's like they want you to go to them. Okay, so that's all my guides are showing. They also have surprise. Okay. Get ready to receive something special soon that expresses how I feel about you. The gift could come in any form in the physical or spiritual realm and it will bring us closer. The romantic gesture, 3D communication, or telepathic communication is on its way to you. Look at that. Pay attention to any kind of signs, synchronicities, or even a specific gift coming away or message. Your person trying to express themselves. I'm not sure if you're in communication at all right now. This could be them trying to approach you. But I feel like they're feeling, thinking about, maybe you dream about them 
Just know that it's because they can't stop thinking about you if you're not communicating or even if you are communicating but not so much. So I feel like something's coming your way and it could be this surprise here. The last message from this deck, the intensity. My feelings for you overwhelm me sometimes. Please reassure me by taking things slowly and patiently. This will help me feel comfortable with the changes that are happening. And I feel like it's interesting because this is showing the, the time here as well. You can see here the watch. So I do feel like, and we got the clock here. So interesting, these two cards here together. Because I feel like very intense. Okay, so they were feeling very intense. I feel like they still have this intensity. But I feel fear with this. The time was too fast. Or it's too good to be true. Or I need the time. Have patience with me. I'm not sure if all of you guys have patience anymore. Of course, maybe you're just tapping into the energy to see how they're feeling. How they were. How they are feeling. So you can move on. Or... Um, just to understand, just for curiosity as well. But this intensity is like, is it too good to be true or can I trust? This energy of feeling overwhelmed instead of trusting. You know, so I feel like that's still going on. Let's tap into how they are feeling right now with the tarot. And we're going to get those cards here too and the charms. But yeah, so these messages that I want to say to you, I'm telling you this energy of patience too. Let's see here about now. So we tap into the now, even the messages are more on this now transition. The word, word here with uh, travel energies, maybe you guys are not from the same place, maybe it's... Um, distance here so you need to travel to be together my guides are showing the eight of pentacles again like they were feeling like it's hard there's there's work to be done so maybe distance is something but definitely a new phase for you guys knight of swords afraid of rushing sometimes rushing maybe this person said things that they regret and then they they were too blunt sometimes as well this Knight of Swords, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But afraid of rushing because they could have rushed. Yeah. Right now, seeing things, I feel like crying over spilled milk. That's the Five of Cups, right? They could be thinking about the past, the chance that they miss with you. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Energies here. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Pentacles again. Double confirmation on the Eight of Pentacles. Because they feel is a lot of work. So whatever feelings like, uh, why is it so hard? They still feel in that way. Maybe it's because someone didn't change too much yet. Maybe because you guys saw each other not too long ago. But they still feeling like it's hard. The, whatever issues that was hard before, is still hard now. Maybe because there are things you can't change, like I say, distance, maybe live in different places, or age, or family issues, or just third party energies. Bad things that they may not feel ready um, with the Eight of Pentacles financial career. So, those things that could be really affecting here, they feel like they, they are things that. It's not easy to change. It's not that simple to change anyway. Like families, you can't change that. But we can take what is resonating. Eight of Swords, they do feel stuck. So we're talking about now, okay? So the issues of thinking is harder. Is, there's a lot of work to be done. Was there before and is still now. They still feel stuck right now. And this could be self-imposed limitations, restrictions, overthinking, thinking worst case scenarios. It may not be this hard, but it is on their mind. It may not be in reality, but that's how they see things. You see this person here, they see that in the mirror, like they're stuck, so much in the mind. 
it's not so much in reality here but that's how they see so their perspective is like it's hard you know so even right now yeah the page of cups no doubt it's still feelings with you but you still see here page of wands page of cups so it's the page energy in the past the page energy not having the courage to trust to take a chance having the it stains in that fire passion but not going deeper and the page of cups is here to tell you yeah even right now there's still feelings romantic feelings but the immaturity or the fear of going deeper on those feelings go deeper to knight to queen to king of cups going deeper the fears are there i feel like not giving up but definitely fearful to take a chance and it's like oh if you come around if you take a chance so if you talk to me if you send that message we will see how it goes but the fear of it's still hard to make this work is there and again because there are things that maybe you cannot change like i said family distance age whatever it may be and it could be their only security that holds them back because of that let me see here with the cards, the other cards here. We have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. That's interesting because I feel like a person wants your forgiveness. They may know that they need to apologize. And they also know that they don't want to just see the past in a negative way. They are looking into what's my lesson here. And we also have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlled can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. This could be what they are trying to do now. Because they feel like I tried to control before, I had to be my way, or I had to run away. And then they feel like they sabotage as well so right now it could be this energy of okay i will stop trying to control the situation and now allow, allow divine time if it's meant to be will be but i feel like they're taking time here to breathe to evaluate to heal as well and surrender resentments interesting because you got resentment so double confirmation on that word holding on to resentments only poison you Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. And I feel like this is for both of you, you know, holding back to resentment or what didn't work or what was said or hurting each other. I feel like your person right now is hoping for forgiveness, hoping that you will not hold on to resentments. They will not. I feel like they're trying to not hold on to resentments. Maybe both hurt each other or they know that they hurt you. But they feel like they're trying to see things in a positive perspective. Like, what is my lesson here? I'm not sure if you want a chance with them or if you if you would like to wait here. I don't feel like it's someone that is taking action specifically. The main thing is like uh, learning Think, still thinking is difficult and again maybe something specific there maybe you'll know exactly what this is that they cannot change transformation and justice interesting here because it's someone that is i feel like trying to transform to learn a lesson but justice is here to balance things out i feel like they want to balance also justice is for karmic will karmic justice and again this energy of they feel like they need to apologize whatever the situation of course we know how things ended but in their mind is like oh, i need it i i wish i could apologize but i cannot make the first move they hope that maybe you send them a message even if it's a friendly message just to be able to talk again and they wanted to show that they're different as well in their mind the, the transformation is still happening so it's not like someone who has uh, complete some phase here they know that there are things that need to be balanced 
they really want your forgiveness they're trying to not hold on to resentments what was in the past even if they know they hurt you they hurt themselves and they could be guilty here feeling bad but they i feel like they don't want to be holding on to negativities i do feel like it depends i don't feel like many of you maybe even want them back together but of being with them if you have not been with them maybe this was a missed opportunity but i feel like many energies of healing right now their focus is on not holding on to what didn't work maybe ho hoping for a chance to apologize or make amends but whatever was difficult before is still difficult now they still think it's difficult or this relationship is not the easiest that kind of energy i'm gonna get some charms here i'm gonna start with some zodiac signs here libra and uh, the gemini air signs so communication could be important maybe you them these energies of communication here for you guys What else do we know here? Okay, I'm going to take this out here because I don't have much space today. Your initials, their initials, K-A-I-H. Maybe nicknames. And we do have numbers that can be important for you. Your birthday, their birthdays. When you met, when you will meet again. We have a chance to meet again. Um, 1473. 12. 5. Where is it? 5. Have one more. 21. Interesting, I said 21 or less. So 12. Um, yeah. I feel like someone that wants to send you a message. Oh, we also have number seven. There's definitely this hope that there's definitely a karmic will here, like karmic, karmic ties or resolving or afraid of getting you know the karma for this situation you see heart broke here they feel like they have broke they could have broken your heart or they know that they need to make amends there's still romantic feelings here but this energy of freedom i need to choose myself i need to heal I need to transform, you see the butterfly, the transformation. Here too. You know, so transformation now. Trying to transform, grow, learn with the situation is very important. Gentle. Moon energy for healing. The sun energy for hope as well, but there's a lot of flexibility. I feel like they are trying to really be wise right now with their choices, being careful. I feel like they do want to, to keep an eye on your social media, maybe reach out to you through your social media at some point or waiting if you reach out to them as well. But it doesn't mean like let's be together. It doesn't mean like it's impossible, but there's someone that is still in that transformation road here. You know, they, they're not... Uh, out of that but again they feel like they needed to apologize i feel like some kind of message is on the way you see here even if it's not straight away and i feel social media energy is here too i feel like someone that is trying to act different than before but they need time they still need the flexibility of course it depends on you if you wanted to give them time but it feels like for some reason, they know they need to apologize and they're waiting here, looking into all the scenarios that could happen. But it depends on you to what you want. But yes, right now, forgiveness, healing, 
learning. There's a lot of lessons right now. Very intense, the feelings. The back then, afraid, but right now I feel like transformation. Still feelings, but trying to transform here, not knowing what's going to be next. They just know that they wanted to make amends at some point and balance things out, showing that they have changed it. I'll leave with this group too. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you. My own decks I have created them much more. All the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi group 3, if it was the beautiful pink calcite crystal, how were they feeling the last time they saw you versus now? I'm gonna leave those cards here for how they're feeling now. And we're gonna be using those cards here for how they're feeling the last time they saw you. There are many cards I'm gonna be using, messages, charms as well, so hang in there. We have picture. Looking at pictures, missing new nostalgia, making new memories. Okay. We have mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. And coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. We also have unexpected, limited, frustration. Okay. So this is back then, okay? The last time they saw you, I feel like they they have this nostalgia for the last time, okay? Because the, it could be that they knew you were going away or they were going away. Or I feel like for some reason they knew it was the last time they were going to see you. Maybe because you had like, you know, had to travel or they had to go away. They knew you guys were going away from each other. But this energy of really mirroring each other, you are feeling the same. You're feeling the same feelings, the same frustration, the same energies here. So a lot of nostalgia. I feel like they were thinking, you know, looking at their pictures, the moment they saw you going or they were going, they were looking at their pictures or your social media straight away. And I feel like this energy of you guys were feeling for each other the same. But they also, my guides are saying not just the feelings, but also the frustration or the stress or the fears for the connection. You guys have this energy of inner wounds. So you could have been coming from the same kind of fears, wounds, previous kinds of difficult relationships. And this coffee cup here, this could be when you met, maybe you guys met to have uh, this last uh, coffee together or met somewhere specifically. And I feel like whether you were somewhere specific, like outside meeting, but I do feel like they were savoring the moment. You know when someone is delaying the goodbye, delaying the time, to let you go or them going away because they knew it was the last one. Feeling good about talking to you, being close to you. And I feel like trying to build that, the connection, at least the friendship, even if it's romantic, right? We build the friendship side of the connection, being very friendly and um, really savoring the moment because they wanted to enjoy the time they were with you. But they also have the frustration here of, you see here, time, you see, limited here with the, the watch here. So I feel like the time was limited, so you had to go, or they had to go. And frustration as well, frustrated, but because I feel like they did not reveal everything they wanted to reveal. Even if it was all this mirroring about each other, about the feelings, but again about the fears too. So I feel like the frustration for not telling you everything because the time was limited, because they didn't have the courage, was unexpected. The way they were feeling about you, the way that this whole connection unfolded, whether this is just a crush energy, 
and not going too far or starting the connection but not going deeper or if this is what your ex here i feel like it was unexpected everything felt maybe too good to be true too fast can i trust so i feel like it was this energy of feeling good and bad at the same time because they knew it was the last time they were seeing you they were going to be missing you but also not having the courage to tell you everything frustration i feel like it's very important here they felt frustrated with themselves for not revealing how they were truly truly feeling about you let me get more cards here it's still on the energy of when they saw you the last time okay this deck here has some similar messages to this deck so i want to see if there's any kind of double confirmation we have both receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues interesting with the both because i feel like travel energies too so again this energy for some of you that live far or were far for each other or just far right now but i feel like receiving what you need i feel like in some ways my guides are saying that whatever happened the last time even if you guys had a fight or it didn't finish so well they were just still holding here to the last moment there was some kind of a lesson something that they received what they needed maybe it was uh, a conversation but maybe it was you said the right words you said what they needed to hear that's how my guides say maybe you said what they needed to hear to move on I should just understand this. We also have girl with the snake. Empath, um, empath and narcissistic parad paradigm. Being charmed and used enable boundaries. Maybe that's how even you are feeling. You know, the, in this energy of, okay, what happened here? Do I feel used? Do I feel charmed? Do I feel like this is not really real can i trust this so i feel like this frustration about being able to trust the feelings here this energy of like am i dealing am i being narcissistic here am i really thinking about only me or am, so this boundaries energy so i feel like not knowing how far they should have gone in this connection where they should have stopped, where they should have gone. So I feel like a lot of frustration. My guides are showing over and over the frustration because they didn't tell you everything. They didn't show everything. So it could be that we're talking about the last time they saw you, but there were many things building up to this as well with this energy. So very interesting emotions here. Lightning. Sudden change, shocking new surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. And I feel like it's this unexpected card here as well. And it could have been how they were feeling about you in general. And definitely that day, this shocking, this realization. Okay, I do have feelings for you, but I can't tell you. You're going away or I'm going away. Or it's too late for us. The time is limited. And there's transformation. So... I feel like thinking everything is changing. I don't know how to deal with this. So I feel like really unexpected, sudden changes. And maybe it was shocking news for you too, the way that they were expressing themselves. We also have the, the butterfly. Yeah, the transformation. Relationships, uh, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. So I feel like even if you guys were going to separation or into this time apart from each other, it was the growth. So I feel like a person was, was really focusing on the growth of the connection. Even if you didn't go far in this connection or if this was an ending of the last time we got, the guys saw each other, you were breaking up. I feel like it was some kind of lesson here to understand where the relationship was going and this next phase, this healing energy as well and growing. I feel like a person was really stepping to some growth after this connection too, but knowing that things were transforming, changing, and I feel like not being able to control that. 
I like you, see? Someone likes you. Romantic, romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. And I feel like that's the, again, the way they were feeling the last time they saw you. They do like you. They did like you. The feelings were there. Uh, feelings for you. Romantic feelings for you. Flirting with you. Wanting to date you. But maybe not being able to reveal or it was too sudden or they knew the changes you were going away they were going away there was going to be this separation this time apart so i feel like something that could have been difficult to progress there could have been something that was holding you guys back again distance travel energies are here but also the next phase in the life maybe they were going to study somewhere maybe they're going to work somewhere or you a family there's something here that holds this connection to go further and for some of them this was unexpected they didn't know that was coming or maybe they knew but they were, they didn't want to they were savoring the moment and enjoying the time with you but maybe giving you mixed signals fake hopes because they knew all along that you know they were being they were charming you using you this kind of energy here so it's a lot of ups and downs of emotions but again it feels like not just that we're talking about the last time they saw you, but group three, there's a lot of building up to the last time they saw you. Many things were happening. Maybe ups and downs of emotions being really, really happy and really sad. And you guys were mirroring each other. Remember that. But let's try to get some information here with the tarot. Again, the tap initial the last time. Okay, this is already turned. <laughs> if it's meant to be, it will be. The last time, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, very fast, very fiery, a lot of back and forth energy. I do feel like not knowing how to deal because you can be overwhelmed with the Eight of Wands. Travel energies as well with the Eight of Wands. But this back and forth here, messages, communication, and fire, passion. But too fast, maybe not knowing how to deal with that. Seven of pentacles and the five of cups yeah again this energy of work having to put the work so for the connection the last time i feel like they were feeling like there's work to be done it's not that simple it's not that easy other other things external situations could be affecting us but the five of cups i feel like for the last time they saw you they, they felt the frustration for sure and also these five of cups can be Crying over spilled milk energy, like I missed my opportunity. I had my chance and I missed it. And they could be thinking over and over about that. I missed my chance, I had my chance. And not not looking into the possibilities of what they could do now. And, you know, just thinking about the past. Page of Cups, no doubt feelings, romantic feelings here. So they were feeling there for you. But the page can be the immaturities to trust enough those feelings to share with you. So they were with these romantic feelings for you. Maybe they denied. Maybe you don't even know what to believe because they were not really being straightforward and honest with you. But in reality, the Page of Cups had the feelings, but they don't always have the courage to go deeper on the feelings, to share how they really feel about you. And it could be this frustration. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Look at that. Knight of Cups. I feel like they're... They were able to open up and tell you a little bit about how they were feeling, but not as much as they would or they could. And I feel like, yeah, that's the frustration here because it holds them back. So, page, night, no doubt feelings. And you see this energy, my guides are bringing me back to this one, you know, flirting with you. One thing to date is like, I wanted to date you, but it's difficult or we can't or you're going away or I'm going away. So the last time I feel like it was this frustration, not being able to change things. And the Seven of Cups, yeah. Seven of Cups is also the illusions that it can be perfect, that uh, they're not able to really trust enough their heart to make a decision. Can they choose you or someone else? Is it someone else or do you have someone else? They could be thinking so many things. And it's stuck in illusions here and don't make a decision. Don't trust enough the heart to choose, to choose you. 
What if it's someone else? What if you have other options? But thinking about the options, definitely illusions. You see all the cups, all the emotions here for sure. So last time could have been emotional, could have been all the things they were hoping to do, but they couldn't and holding back and not telling you everything. It could have been difficult. So the last time, as much as they could have been ups and downs of emotions or good days, bad days, I feel like they were trying to savor the good days, the good times. And the last time specifically, I feel like there was a lot of different emotions, but also feeling this frustration that is difficult. I wish it was easier. Or there's something that stops us as much as I want this. I can't share with you. But also the immaturity. And again, seeing things in a negative way or thinking like it's so much work. Let's get some messages here from a person to anything they wanted to say to you then, now. And we tap into the energies of right now. Okay. We have three flame signs. Look at that. Twin flame soulmate, however you we believe here. As your twin flame or maybe soulmate, okay? I mirror what you are going through. We got the mirror card, isn't it? Look here, mirror, yeah. And that's how it's feeling. You guys have this mirroring energy. I mirror what you are going through. Notice how we are very similar and share the same vision. There is a connection between us that can't be denied. We have to work on ourselves to be together. Look out for signs of my love. It is me sending you. Wow, beautiful. Again, the twin flames, even so mate energies, however you believe here, this connection is. I feel like it's definitely the mirroring. You guys mirroring each other, feeling for each other. But you have to go through your own healing, working on the self to be able to be ready. And I feel like, again, double confirmation mirroring in my word. Everything resolve, revolves around you. I keep you in my mind. My, yes, I keep you in in mind when I am making decisions. I am including you in all of my plans. Every action, every dream. I love doing life with you. You mean so much to me. Without you, I feel like nothing. And I feel like even if you're not together, right? So if you're not together and you are if someone is still thinking about you, thinking about you when make decisions, they could be still thinking about a future possibility with you. What if I if I do this with my career, we could be together. Or if I plan this travel, I could be meeting you. If I share. So I feel like you are a lot in their mind. Everything that they're doing right now, back then, right now as well. And wait, look at that. I haven't wanted to admit myself how I really feel for you. It means stepping out of my comfort zone. It's time. I know it's taking me a while. I do know what you need and I wanted to do this right. Please wait for me. I will do things right between us when I come forward to you. Asking you to wait, of course, is up to you. Here, group three, because not everybody wants to wait. It could be maybe trying to understand how they were feeling back then, now, and you don't want to wait. Maybe you're moving on, but it's like they need time to be able to open up to you. And again, it could be that it's difficult. There are things that are against you guys. They ask you to wait. What else I want to say to you is park. We have this park between us, which is undeniable and visible to everyone around you, around us. You are the miracle that dropped into my life and lit me from within. Look at, look up at the stars tonight and know that I am under the same sky thinking about you. We are destined to be together for many lifetimes. We don't need to rush this love. Our love is eternal. Wow, beautiful. This energy as well of, you know, having to wait, even if you're not together, you are, they are thinking about you. But this energy here of 
maybe other people could see as well, could feel your connection. You know, other people around you were noticing. You know, this spark here. And again, this energy of cannot rush, you see? To inflame so many energies, push and pull energies when it's meant to be. I will be aligning. And the signs, look at more signs here. I have been seeing so many signs and synchronicities that remind me of you. It's made me feel certain that you are the one for me. And we have a bright future. I just have to figure out how to follow them. I'm gaining strength and courage for that. I feel like this person here, group 3, is still hopeful for your connection. Of course, it depends on you, what you want as well. But it's like they still hope that they can do something right now, that you will, you will wait. Trust your intuition because I feel like you cross each other's path for a reason. But of course, you have the free will if you wanted to wait or not. Let's see here. We tap into how they're feeling now. Tarot cards again to how they're feeling now. How are they feeling right now? Okay. The Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Look at that Seven of Cups here. Double confirmation. The Moon. Pisces energies with the Moon. And even the Ace of Cups, the Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How are they feeling right now? Yeah, they're still hopeful. They still is stuck in some illusions, yes. But they are still hopeful. Because they hope that after all the illusions will be released, after they can really trust the heart, they can choose you. It's still this single energy right now. Maybe both of you guys are single right now and really going through the, your own healing because the Ace of Cups, yes, the feelings, but also the healing, especially Ace of Cups with the moon here. So there's a lot of healing happening right now. Maybe to trust how they feel or just follow their path, grow, evolve here and get out of the illusions because the Nine of Pentacles, there are many things that you needed to do and self-love, self-care, working on yourself, doing things for you to be able to see the results, be able to love yourself, to be able to love others. So there really is this energy of having to step into your power to get there. So I feel like your person is trying to do that. Okay, I'm trying to grow, evolve, learn with everything, trust how I feel, heal myself, work on myself so I can make the right decisions. There's still some illusions, all right, with the Seven of Cups, Still choices, still illusions, but there's still options there. Options for you, options for them, other people that they could be with. But they're trying to trust their heart to see what's best for me. Especially with the moon energy, Ace of Cups is like, okay, I need to go deeper here in my healing to really know what's best for me. I really see with the Ten of Cups that they still have hope because they could have seen a lot of potential for a future, a life, a chance with you. And they didn't take that chance or they it didn't go too far. But they feel like there's a road to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Three of Wands, which is also travel energies. Maybe you guys are really distant here. But it's this energy of seeing the light at the end of the road. The road of self-discovery, healing, taking care of the self. So I feel like they really feel like, okay, when it's meant to be, we will find our way back to each other. So I feel like right now is this energy of I'm working on myself so I can be ready for this connection. I wasn't ready then. I felt that I couldn't take action. So, and there's still other things that could be affecting. Let's see here the cards that you chose. Love, I committed to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And this could be what your person is doing now, even trying to see what was the lesson or the good thing about the time that we were together that we are we are not now. And sorry the to divine timing, you see? 
Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. And I feel like that's how your person is trying to tap into this now and trust the divine time. When it's meant to be, we will be together. And also surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. And I feel like that's what your person is trying to do. I feel like they know the potential is there. I didn't take a chance, so I didn't have an opportunity. And I'm going to make peace with this. I cannot change the past. And when it's meant to be, it will be. I feel like they're just trying to accept things as they are right now. Work on the self and see if the universe will align the path again. Okay, when it's meant to be here, trust in the divine time, it will be. Also, love and trust. Look at that. Love that is there, the feelings for sure, bringing love into the situation, but trusting, trusting the divine time. No doubt there's someone that I feel like right now they are trying to find peace, especially if they were really overwhelmed and stressed before and could not trust. And I feel like it's a change. It's not because they are all resolved, but I feel like they have been more balanced compared to before. Maybe it has not been a long time that you guys see each other. It has been for many of you. I feel like just trying to understand when it's meant to be, it will be. I'll trust the signs, the divine signs. I'll trust the divine time. And I'm not going to rush too much. Let's get some charms here just to end here with more information. I know we got already some zodiac signs there. We got Pisces. We got other signs before. I wanted to get a couple more. Taurus and the Scorpio. And let's get here some charms as well. Initial. I don't have a very big plate today. Let's get some letters. So it can be their initials, your initials, maybe nicknames, whatever is calling your attention needs for you. E S I another E H and A and for letters. This is it. We have some numbers, maybe birthdays when you met, when you will meet, and 21, 14, 16. Three, seven, we have 12, yeah, one as well, birthdays, when you met, when you meet, we have some words, sweet, boy, forever, beauty, divine, divine time, friend, maybe friends right now, being friendly, they have break, but also the cupid arrow striking. I feel like trying to be flexible with the divine time, no doubt. Someone surrendering and trying to manifest here, but trusting. Travel, you see the plane, so maybe you guys are far from each other. I feel like the hope of a light at the end of the tunnel is definitely here trying to follow a path and create bases foundations trust trust that they can be someone that can be able already to commit there's a lot of wisdom trying to be wise trying to make the right decisions a lot of the transformation process trusting here the move the transformation it feels like a message you could be getting a message from this person whether it's direct message or social media, keeping an eye on you. I feel like someone that wants to manifest something, they just needed to find themselves first. But again, they're trying to trust the divine time that they don't know if you're going to wait. They know 
if it's meant to be in this lifetime. So it could be someone trusting here the divine time, trusting everything to be able to see, okay, when it's meant to be, it will be. I feel like they are surrendering right now because they're overwhelmed before. So they try to find the balance now. I'll leave you this group tree. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created, and much more, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching.